What's going on, family? What's going on? What's going down? What's shaking? Welcome to another episode of Super Black Comic Book Reviews by Jonathan Soul. Now, of course, I'm talking about a very groovy comic that I want y'all to, to uh, add to your collection, get for your babies. It is called uh, Blackout, the uh, Eradication Protocols. Dun, 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 dun. And it's part of a, a three issue series. This is issue number one. I was, uh, I had a pleasure of being part of like the, you know, getting the word out about the Kickstarter, which is what, uh, was done to, uh, get this book up. You can get it on, uh, on indieplanet.u, indieplanet.com. So I N D Y planet.com. And, uh, just look up uh, blackout, the eradication protocols. The book was put together by Roosevelt Pitt, um, Vince Ward. No, sorry, uh, uh, Keith Ward, I believe, and uh, Vince White. Hold on for a second. I'm a, sorry, uh, my my uh, uh, C.R. Ward, my fault. I'm thinking about my else. So, uh, so definitely, um, uh, the team was uh, was Roosevelt Pitt. It was a C.R. Ward. You know, they helped uh, with the writing and storytelling or whatever. Vince White was editor in chief. He's also um, was he illustrator in this? Maybe not. Maybe not an illustrator uh, in this. But uh, the Zong brothers were definitely involved. Uh, 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 Inker and Colorist, I think, out of China, I believe. Um, did some fantastic work in this book. Okay. So what is this book about? This book is about um, two heroes who have become aware of black people just disappearing, right? So as you can tell in the little cover, um, and I introduce all the characters as we go on. So black people are, be are just disappearing. And what's going on, you know? And so, um, and so as we get into the book, and again, I can't emphasize enough how beautiful the artwork is and how, uh, in how layered the story is. So right now we're in New Salem. New Salem is a futuristic city in North Carolina, North Kakalak. And, uh, and so, you know, we're like the Metro station, you see the, the security or whatever. And, um, you know, you can just see, you know, if you guys didn't know better, you might think this is like, you know, Harlem and Krypton or something. You know what I mean? See how the, you know, the, the, the peacefulness and the technology. How often do you see this? And it's not like, you know, we all have a great death to Ron Coogler and, and, and um, the brother uh, Cole, uh, Robert Cole, I think. And, uh, of course, Jack Kirby and um, Stan Lee and everything. But uh, this is not Wakanda. Okay? This is definitely not. It's no Spears. <laughs> Well, actually, that's not true. There's one spear. You know what I mean? But you know what I mean? This is this is a futuristic African-American city. And um, and so right now, we got two people talking about the stuff that's going on, right? And so let's get into the dialogue a little bit. Uh, let's see here. Perhaps I see, uh, perhaps but I say people are asleep, oblivious to the past, decades of propaganda, uh, consumerism, uh, moral uh, leniency have made them short-sighted. Uh, self-absorbed maybe and so they kind of go through uh, i would uh, be surprised if any of them even knew who rr R. morton was cough cough i don't know who rr R. morton I, I know my history you know what i mean <laughs> but i don't even know who the brother is so as we get into it you're going to find out that what roosevelt does is he plants little seeds of culture in the book that if you're a parent reading this to your kid you can say let's stop who is rr R. morton and you go through and look them up and you'll find out who this guy is. Okay. So it's not just the superhero bangs that pow. You also get in some culture. You're going to have a, you're going to be able to not just let the, your kid read it, which they can, but you're going to be able to turn this into like a teaching moment. Right? So, uh, let me try to go through this real quick. You can see the character design is beautiful. Right? Um, so this guy is a Richard Kincaid. He's the guy that's kind of like, he's, his name is his superhero identity is purge. So during the day, he kind of helps construct the city and the technology and everything. Uh, you look at the little, almost like a dashiki kind of vibration. But then he has this, uh, this suit, that you know, mechanical suit that kind of helps augment his own power. And he kind of does this Iron Man kind of a thing. And so, uh, you know, he's showing them the stuff that's going on around the world. And then you have this portal opening up. And then you have the brother. Now, the brother is a, is a comic book character by Jay Kelly. And that's somebody I forgot to mention. Uh, in this thing here, but Jay Kelly's character is kind of, the brother is kind of like a, uh, a, a mashup between Malcolm X and Dr. Who. 
you know, Doctor Who is a a time traveling, uh, you know, character. And he has like, he usually has a companion. So does the brother. Okay. So, and so there's fighting and stuff that the kids will like or whatever. You can see, um, I don't know if you guys can see this, but yeah, see prologue MPI national, uh, a white nationalist uh, facility at 8 AM uh, earth dime eight <clears throat> in, uh, in this universe, which is kind of created by Vince white, um, multiversal reality is one part of the universe. He has the multiverse, but he calls them dimes for short for dimensions. So we're in dime eight and, uh, so we're in dime eight. Um, they go into this, uh, white supremacist, uh, situation cause they're investigating what's going on with all these black people disappearing. And so now you can see like the, the little sidekick of, um, the brother. So you get the little, you know, quick character bio of, uh, of the purge, right? Purge AKA Richard Kincaid survivor of clandestine experiments that robbed him of his past, but give to him with unmatched technical genius. Right. So we're going through, and you can see that kind of manga anime esque kind of style here, which is kind of groovy. You know what I mean? And, uh, and so we're going to go through and then you'll see like the little, you know, character bio for the brother, ageless, uh, Walker of dimensions, a uh, rebuker of injustice. And then you see his, uh, his, uh, teammate, you know, Amani, you know, smart, ambitious. Young. I think she's like 16 years old kid. No father. He kind of took her as a award, so to speak. And so, you know, you'll see the action that's in here and stuff. Now, one thing that you'll notice with black owned properties that they'll do things that, that come natural to white characters in white comic books, which you'd never see a black character do usually in movies or in comics or whatever. You know, if a white person is attacking a black person, like in movies, for example, you know, the black person never generally fights back. You know, it's usually the white person, like a friend or a colleague that defends the black person. Well, that's not true. You know, in, in, in black comics, you know, like this, you know, the, the black characters truly have agency. And that's something that's important for the kids to see. You know what I mean? So anyway, so I'm not going to show you everything, but um, there's like an investigation that's going on. And again, there are little tidbits that are dropped. In, in certain parts of the book that that's an opportunity for you as a parent, like an uncle or, or whatever to kind of say, Hey, well, you know what that means? Oh, let's get on the, you know, let's get on the search engine and find out what that is. Okay. And so I'm about to wrap up, but I'm not gonna show you the whole book, but there's some beautiful scenes in here. You know, there's AI. So I guess it's like a Jarvis kind of a thing, but it's not, it's, I don't know, Sally Sue, or, you know, Rebecca, whatever her name is. And, uh, kind of a thing, but the art is beautiful. The story is very nuanced and, uh, and it's something that you definitely want to add to your collection. So uh, that's a dope, that's a dope ass car, ain't it? You know what I mean? So anyway, so you need to get this book in your life. Okay. So this is a uh, blackout, the eradication protocols. It's on the, uh, the Powerverse, uh, you know, Powerverse label, you know what I mean? And, um, I think it might be five bucks. Or whatever and i got it from uh, indieplanet.com um you can get it other places and uh the more you buy the more incentive these folks uh, are are the more the, the folks are incentivized to do issue number two issue number three you know i i want i want us to get to issue 100 on all of these books you know right now we're we're pressing our way in terms of being uh you know the black indie movement we're pressing our way past the, the, the age of one shots. We're trying to press our way past that. And there, there are creators that are doing it, you know? Um, and, and so we want to, we want to continue to encourage these guys. All right. Love you guys. Get this book. It's definitely something that you would enjoy reading as an adult. And definitely you want to uh, get it for your, for your kids and so forth. Um, this is something that they'll enjoy reading. And it's something that you can take the opportunity to explain them. Uh, to explain to them some things going on in the world. All right. Love you guys. Have our dreams come true. John, the soul.com go to my website where you can interviews with artists and writers about uh, creating comics. And we, we tap into a little bit of politics. You can tell by my, you know, my ranting that, you know, obviously I give a damn about stuff other than comics. All right. Love you guys. Hope your dreams come true. Peace.